Alright, so today we're going to be checking out the brand new improvements made to the 308. Now, it's actually kind of interesting. They they made a brand new round. Well, I guess technically, we've got our 308 Nosler Partition Handgun Edition now, which is actually what all my previously owned rifle 308 bullets turned into. And then I had to buy brand new Nosler Partition Rifle Edition bullets, which is basically the same as what the old ones were, but it is what it is. I have both on me, so we'll give them a try. I decided Val de Bois would be a good map to try this on, just because we got easy range shots set up, and then we also have Red Deer, a fairly decent sized... I guess we also have Brown Bear, so we have two, two large game animals to kind of test its penetration on. I think it'll be fun. Hopefully we can actually get something neat along the way. And just have a good time with it. I'm curious to see just how good they made this thing, because if it's overpowered, we, we might have a new, a new daily weapon. But anyway, that's enough talk. Let's get out to the river and see what's waiting for us. So we've made it to the river and we've actually got five stags to choose from down here. None of them are very good, but I think we're going to take this guy here. I believe he's the biggest and he's also at a decent range. Now normally this 308 couldn't do anything to this red deer at this distance. But now it did that. So I'm going to say there's a very good difference made on this gun. Let's see if that one dies. Because normally you would have had to shoot that thing four more times. That wasn't a very good shot. Yeah, that tells me that this thing, yeah, and he went down. That tells me this thing's much more powerful than it was before. Which is actually quite exciting. Because that makes this gun a pretty good competitor against some of the other high quality rifles. It has almost the same power, I would say, as the 300 with five rounds. That's not bad. I would still use the 300 over it just because I don't usually need the five rounds, and I prefer that extra little bit of power. And it can take a better scope, which is also a nice bonus. But yeah, no, this thing's definitely, definitely capable of some stuff now, which is very nice to see because it's a 308. It really really shouldn't have been lacking this power in the first place, but it's good to see that its potential has been has been recognized. And they fixed it up a little bit. We got three stags out of the five that were sitting here. Which normally you would have had to use your whole your whole box of ammo just to kill one. That's very nice. I'm very happy with that. This guy went down instantly. It actually looked like it might have been a hard shot. I kind of want to play around. I feel like they definitely didn't change the ballistics on the round. It didn't seem like they changed the ballistics on the round. But I kind of want to see what the bullet drop looks like. Because I'm going to be honest. I never really used it at range in the first place. Because it wasn't even effective at close range. The long shots with it really weren't a great idea. I don't have a lot of experience with them. This guy kind of got himself stuck in a hole and shot in the lungs. But yeah, no, good penetration, double lung on that guy. We shot this guy in the ass, and it penetrated to his lung. That bullet hole is like in the side of his ass. Yeah, right there. It was in the left side of his back, and it penetrated all the way to lung. That's pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. That's another little stag that's going to be having a nap here right soon. Not with that, though. With this. Yeah. Undoubtedly over double the power on this thing. Without a doubt. That's... Yeah. This thing was like shooting them with a 22 air rifle before. It wasn't doing anything. I kind of want to actually switch over to Red Feather and try it on Moose. I remember, like, there were multiple times where I put over five bullets into a Moose, and that thing still got away. Kind of stupid crap. So I might actually do that. I want to go over to Red Feather and test on something a little bit bigger. Or hopefully run into a Brown Bear soon. We haven't seen any of them yet. I actually like that idea as well. I'll go a little further up the river and see if I can track some of them down. But we'll grab this little guy first. I think we'll still hit Red Feather for Moose anyway, though. 
because I do want to try that. Or maybe even White Rhyme would be better for the long shots. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. But for right now, I guess I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to get across this river. You guys don't need to see the score of that little guy. I'll figure it out, pick him up, and I'll see you guys when we've got a bigger stag in front of us. Or if I manage to track down a brown bear. So I decided to move to White Rhyme to see what this thing could do on a moose. And we've got a pretty nice looking bull in front of us, and I guess he wants to go have a nap. But if this thing does as I hope it does, he should be having a different kind of nap right away here. I'm going to assume he didn't get up because that was a spine shot. I'm curious to see if that actually kills him. Even if I can kill him with just these... Okay, yeah, no, he died way quicker than... Like, I have PTSD from Red Feather where I shoot a moose six times with this thing. Like, where the lungs should have been at... Well, I guess about that distance. With... Yeah, it dying after five minutes. And that was... I, I would say a seven second wound time. On a spine shot, maybe single lung, if it penetrated. Yeah, there's lung blood there, so... Spine, single lung. Killed it in less than 10 seconds. I like that a lot. Okay, 11 seconds. Not bad, though. 175. I'll take a picture of it, just for the sake of the video. Alright, so it doesn't look too bad, but... I kind of have him at the edge of the frame, which made it a little bit of a pain. And I still couldn't drag him out far enough to get him in the sun. Which mildly annoys me, but it looks alright, so we'll accept it, and we're gonna sell him because he's not big enough to tax. Not even close. We'll go see if we can find a few more and kind of see what lung penetration looks like with this thing. Potentially from a little bit further distance, that was only like an 80 to 100 meter shot I think. There's a little bit longer of a shot. I don't think I'll have to hold up too far. That looked like a pretty good shot. Let's just see if he goes down, how that penetration looks. I think he might have actually just gone down behind that tree. Yeah, he's down. That's awesome. That, yeah, that is, that is insane. Insanely different from what it was, which is great. This is actually, like, I'm going to start using this rifle now for sure. It's highly capable now. Another one right there. Let's see. I highly doubt this thing could do any sort of Texas heart shot kind of crap, but... We'll give her a go. I thought that thing was just going to tip over for a second. It kind of looked like he was... He went solid like they do sometimes, and then he was going to tip right over. But I'm curious to see if that shot kills him. Because that, that's probably just a body shot. Who knows where that hit. I don't see him running away anymore. But to be fair, I kind of lost him pretty well instantly, so... That may not be because he's not running. We'll have a look for sure. Because if that shot brought him down relatively quickly, that's that's insane. That's like 300 level power with 5 rounds. That's that's nuts, actually. Yeah, I don't see him. I'm going to have to go look for the blood after. I think I ran by that moose too, didn't I? I know I just saw him, then I got distracted, and I feel like I ran past him. Is that him right there? Or is that another bull? Yeah, No, that's a live one. I'm spotting it. Yeah, there's another bull over there. Okay, well, I can't find the ones that I've shot as it is, so I'm not going to shoot that one yet. I'll find them afterwards, but... I'm curious as to what that shot penetrated on this moose, but now I'm dumb and can't find it. Should have marked it, is what I should have done. Oh, there he is right there, okay. 
I found him. It's all good. I might actually shoot this guy now. Now nah, I'll find him later. That's not a very good shot with that stupid ridge in the way. I'll maybe climb this hill and make a long shot on him. So we definitely penetrated lung, which I assumed we got at least one. And that was double lung at 233 meters on a moose. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Yep, I'm gonna have to start carrying the 308 more often. That's that's 308 level power with five bullets. That's pretty crazy. But I'm assuming that other moose must have gone down there. Is that him right there? That's him right there. So that one shot wasn't enough on him. But like I said, who knows where it hit. It was a weird shot. But we'll go over there and find out where it hit in two seconds. Alright, let's have a look. I saw some lung blood on the ground. Okay, so we got double lung on the second shot at 264 meters. And the first shot was actually intestines. We would have died from that shot. That's pretty nuts. I'm, I'm super impressed with this rifle now. That's awesome. That, oh no, it's a bison, okay. I thought maybe I saw another bull moose, but. I'm just a crazy person. Oh, wait, no, there's antlers. I think, anyway. Yeah, there's another bull moose there. I mean, I definitely didn't see it the first time I said it, but we're still gonna pretend I'm not a crazy person. Let's just see here. That should be a kill shot. I don't want to follow it up, but I also... For science, I want to see how long it takes them to go down. Although I've already come to the conclusion that this thing has a lot, a lot of power. And that that thing will die. I never hit lung though. I feel like I might have hit high, so it's probably just a body shot. I think they'll probably die, but it might take a little bit. So we might as well follow them up. And down he goes. Yeah, this thing's ridiculous now. I would I would say it has the same amount of power as the 300. I might have to do might have to test that out a little bit. Okay, so I seem to have a problem with losing things. I ran past this thing like twice, but it's fine. Here he is. It's not even my fault. Look, he's dead behind that stupid ridge of rock. Just a little guy. I feel like that second shot was probably double lung again. Yeah, double lung again at 250 meters. That first shot was shoulder blade, that's why. He still would have died, I'm positive. But I would have had to wait a little bit, and I'm a little bit impatient. But yeah, that's sweet. I'm really happy about that. Alright, so that's the end of our video. I've come to the conclusion that this thing is almost overpowered now. This thing's pretty sweet. This is a, this is a rifle you'll see in future videos way more often than you ever would have normally. Because it's kind of insane now. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.